inside the Embraer Praetor 600. The Embraer Praetor 600, which can fly across the ocean, is the most technologically sophisticated super mid-sized business aircraft ever built. It exemplifies the ideal balance of performance, comfort, and technology. The Praetor 600 genuinely widens your journey and gives maximum value from class-leading cabin comfort, including best-in-class cabin altitude, to more point-to-point -point destinations thanks to best-in-class range and remarkable performance at tough airports. Before we dive in, make sure you don't miss our next video and subscribe with the button down below. The world's most disruptive and technologically advanced super midsize business jet, according to Embraer Praetor 600. The Praetor 600 is a more sophisticated variant of the Legacy 500 by Embraer. The Praetor 600 can fly further than the Legacy because of more aerodynamically efficient winglets and increased fuel storage. As a result, the Praetor 600 can readily perform transatlantic sorties, flying from London to New York, Sao Paulo to Miami, or Dubai to London, for example, may all be done without refueling. The Praetor features class-leading comfort, cabin altitude, and a long range, thanks to the Brazilian manufacturer. The Praetor 600 and the Praetor 500 are twins. At the NBAA meeting in October 2016, Embraer introduced the two new aircraft. The 600 received certification from Brazil's National Civil Aviation Agency in April of this year. The aircraft will be certified in Europe and the United States next month. In the summer of 2019, Embraer was able to deliver the first Praetor 600 to clients. Do you know about the Embraer Praetor 600 performances? Praetor 600 is powered by two HTF 7500E engines, which are positioned in the rear of the aircraft and each provide 7,528 pounds of thrust. As a result, the aircraft is capable of lifting off in as little as 4,717 feet. When it comes time to land, the Praetor 600 requires just 2,165 meters of runway. The Praetor 600 is capable of cruising at 466 knots at a maximum height of 45,000 feet and reaching speeds up to 50,000 feet. An endurance of 4,018 nautical miles, 4,623 miles, 7,441 kilometers may be maintained for a maximum distance of 4,018 nautical miles. Embraer has been able to give a large baggage capacity, with the aircraft being able to store 155 cubic feet of bags. The aircraft's maximum takeoff weight, MTOW, is 42,858 pounds, which is an impressive figure. How comfortable is the Embraer Praetor 600? Among the many features of the Praetor 600 are its attractive cabin with 1.83 meter ceilings, level floors, a fully equipped galley, a comfortable restroom with a closet, and a baggage storage compartment in the cabin. The Praetor 600 is the ideal airplane for lengthy journeys since its seats can be covered into four flat beds. It can also land on runways as short as 3,000 feet, making it a versatile aircraft. During the flight, the ultra-quiet cabin is ideal for having a discussion, napping, or doing work on your laptop. With a cabin altitude of 5,800 feet, which is the highest in the industry, you will arrive feeling refreshed and relaxed. The particular turbulence reduction function will ensure that your flight is as smooth as possible. The most up-to-date airplane equipment ensures a safe flight while maintaining the highest technological standards. What technology did they use to make engines efficient? Fly smart. Because of the fuel-efficient engines and finely tuned aerodynamics of the Embraer Praetor 600, there is no longer a need for a hefty jet for long-distance flights. This is a genuine game-changer. The Embraer Praetor 600 is the only super mid-sized jet capable of flying non-stop for about 4,018 nautical miles, 7,440 kilometers. It has a maximum endurance of about 9 hours, allowing you to fly from London to New York, Sao Paulo to Miami, and Dubai to Hong Kong with relative ease, among other destinations. What about the safety and smartness of Embraer Praetor 600? In order to actively reduce turbulence, the Praetor 600 is equipped with complete fly-by-wire controls. Adamant in its pursuit of breaking new ground, Embraer is the only aircraft manufacturer to provide this technology in the super mid-size class. So how does the Embraer Praetor 600 look at the inside? 
threw out the attractively designed six-foot-tall flat floor cabin, and Brer has exhibited deliberate attention to detail and superb craftsmanship. The inside materials are of greatest quality, as well as robust and light. Carbon fiber, for example, may be used throughout the cabin. You may personalize this plane with anything from bulkheads to tables. Within the cabin, thoughtful design considerations have enhanced the sensation of room. The cabin's stowable tables, for example, may be packed and hidden completely. The tables open flush with the side ledge when assembled. This gives you and 11 other passengers plenty of room, 12 passenger capacity total. The chairs in the cabin may recline and swivel as needed to ensure that you are seated in the most comfortable position possible. Furthermore, the luxurious chairs may be converted into totally flat beds with ease. Embraer has placed a gorgeous stone floored, very practical kitchen at the front of the passenger cabin. This was created to fulfill all your wishes when traversing seas on a lengthy journey. From a cup of hot coffee to a refreshing drink to a filling lunch, there's something for everyone. The galley contains a microwave, conventional oven, refrigerator, coffee machine, and fine glassware, china, and cutlery, all provided by Embraer. The cabin altitude is just 5,800 feet when traveling at 45,000 feet. A low cabin altitude has the advantage of keeping you feeling fresh and refreshed. The interior has also been designed to be ultra quiet, making the aircraft ideal for working, discussion, or relaxation. Embraer has left no stone unturned in terms of onboard technology, making it one of the most contemporary business aircraft in the skies. Wi-Fi that seems like it belongs in your home, cabin controls are controlled by a touchscreen, audio and video streaming that is completely immersive. All cabin controls and information are at your fingertips thanks to touchscreens built into the overhead panels. What is a midsize plus cabin? The cabin of the 500 falls just short of what you'd expect from a standard super midsize, creating a gap I dubbed midsize plus at the time. With a high-speed cruise of Mach 0.82, it can hold up to 12 passengers and transport four people for somewhat more than 3,000 nautical miles. Because the aircraft has 150 cubic feet of baggage room, passengers can bring significantly more luggage than they could on practically any other mid-range or super mid-size plane. The Legacy's aft lav closet alone has 40 cubic feet of baggage room. The 500's interior configurations vary, but large cabin amenities such as spacious, well-equipped galley with hot and cold water, cabin attendant seats, and main cabin two-zone executive seating for eight or nine with an optional three-place berthing divan are available. The single executive seats may also be flipped back-to-back -back and reclined together to accommodate up to four people in excellent sleeping conditions. A solid door, vanity, basin, and vacuum toilet are all included in the aft lavatory. Honeywell's Ovation Select Cabin Management System allows passengers to control lighting, entertainment, and communications from their seat or the galley touchscreen, and it can link with high-speed satcom and a variety of consumer gadgets. Moving maps, news, sports, and weather may all be displayed on the HD displays. The Proline Fusion avionics give the latest in convenience and safety, and the flight deck is comfortable and elegant. The Legacy 500 was launched in 2014 with a price tag of roughly $20 million, but after many years of sales, Embraer realized that in order to stay competitive, the Legacy would have to not only match but also exceed the range capabilities of the new Cessnas. The competition apparently served as a catalyst for Embraer to modernize the interior. The improved aircraft was later renamed Praetors after ancient Roman judicial officers. A big step forward. What does it mean? The planes, which were first announced in 2018 and delivered the following year, are significant upgrades over their predecessors, especially the Praetor 600, which can carry 2,928 pounds more fuel than the Legacy 500 thanks to the addition of two belly tanks, extending range by nearly 1,000 nautical miles. That's approximately 500 nautical miles more than the Cessna Longitude, however at a speed that's 16 knots slower at long-range cruising power. The 600's range, according to Embraer, is longer than any other super mid-sized plane and allows non-stop flights from London to New York. That'll happen if you're carrying 15,986 pounds of gasoline. 
It also increases the Praetor's maximum takeoff weight to 42,858 pounds, which is 5,000 pounds more than the Legacy 500s. Despite this, the 600 can alight from runways shorter than 5,000 feet because of a software upgrade to the Honeywell HDF7500E engine's full authority digital engine management system, which adds 492 pounds of additional blow per side. With full gasoline, the payload is 2,533 pounds, which is adequate for practically full seats and luggage. Radar with vertical weather display and predictive wind shear, display of other aircraft traffic, a synthetic vision guidance system, an enhanced vision system, and an optional head-up display and inertial reference system are among the features added to the already capable Proline Fusion avionics in the flight deck. Landings with clouds as low as 150 feet and forward visibility as low as 1300 feet are possible using the synthetic vision guidance system. This is a useful feature to have when it's dark, foggy, and rainy outside. These enhancements are commendable, but the 600's cabin is where it really shines. Carbon fiber, piano black accents, and beautiful stitch patterns abound in the sophisticated Bossa Nova interiors. The cabin is just 5,800 feet above sea level, while the plane is at 45,000 feet. Passengers may select for high-speed Viasat K-band access, which allows them to stream even big files. Optional GoGo Avance L5 air-to-ground high-speed connection covers the United States and parts of Canada. Flight information and cabin management controls are shown on an upper tech panel that appears when needed and then vanishes, giving a clean, smooth look. With a 105-degree seating angle, a new three-piece divan is more orthopedically friendly. Embraer improved the interiors in 2020 by adding COVID-era cabin air HEPA filters, as well as a one-touch electronic lavatory door. Well, that's it for today. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button and check out our new video. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.